Thanks, Did you, you like that? Do you want me to do it again? Do you want me to do it again? Yeah, well, well, just like a good Thai massage, can you do it again? I'll do it again. Here we yeah, go. Happy ending. Have a listen to this. We ready? A little hold hands and sing. Oh, how good is that? Yes, oh, this is sensational. Yeah. Stuff, David Gabay. I know. Thank you, and uh, you. Uh, and, and I've got to say, you are now entering another dimension. <laughs> Yes. Another place in time. <laughs> the dimension being the dimension of beautiful hips. Welcome. <laughs> Good morning, David. Good morning. It's a pleasure to be on your radio show. Yes. Let's, let's, you know what, David? Why don't we make some QSM listeners happy? Yeah. How are we going to do that? Well, except for Angie. We, uh, <laughs> I mean, you can't, you know, I mean, can't please everyone, as I they know. say. I know. I, as I used to work in a bar, and I used to come out the public bar and... It was darts and guys, and you can't please everyone. Yeah. You know, David, if I was a CSI agent, yeah. but she hammered me last night, Andy, didn't she? She certainly did. She hammered me. Yep, yep. She crunched me down. Uh-huh. I was on the ground, uh-huh. and I, I felt the slipper. Uh-huh. I felt the boot going in, and I thought, gee whiz, that's, that's, there's no need for that. No. I mean, I don't understand. I mean, I, I mean if I don't like... Bacon on a burger. I don't go to Bankstown. Exactly. I mean, I just, it's just, if you don't like it, stay away from it. Just turn it. You no, know, David, if I was a CSI agent, yeah. what, what they call it, remember the FBI profile of like Clarice and uh, Jodie Foster? Yes. Silence of the Lambs? Yes. She was a profiler. <laughs> yes. I'd love to be a profiler. Yes. You could look at someone, you know, you could sit at the lights or you could look at someone at a restaurant and say, they're five foot seven, they eat with a fork in their left hand. They only eat veal, so they don't eat pork, and uh, they're guilty. Mm-hmm. I mean, I just, it's fantastic to be a profiler. You just look at all that stuff. Mm-hmm. Like Clarice. You remember Clarice looking through the glass at Anthony Hopkins? I have to tell you that I find Anthony Hopkins a little bit creepy these days, and it probably probably because of the silence of the lambs. I find Anthony Hopkins very creepy. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, his bank manager doesn't. <laughs> His bank manager says, love you. Yeah. But uh, I've profiled, you know, I, I, you know, there's an app you can you can profile an app. Yes. And I brought it down on my phone and I profiled Angie. Can I give you my You profiled profile Angie? Angie? Yeah, yeah. It's just a profile. It's yeah. just a, what my profile is. It doesn't say who she is or what she is or what she does. Yeah. But when they do a profile, they do a profile on someone and they say, what do you think this person could be like? And I've, I've worked it out in my profile on Angie and uh, I've worked out, uh, well, you know, a nice, uh, you know, a brunette, unintelligent, lonely, sour, pudgy, frustrated, middle-aged woman and lacking in vitamin B12, B3 and possibly lactose intolerance. <laughs> okay. So you, like, you, you, you know, picked up a little rundown. You would have picked up on the fact that she thinks uh, dumpling doesn't exist. Well, dumpling does exist. But why should dumpling have to come on the radio all the time? She was on the radio on um, another station the other night. Is that right? Yeah, really. She was on uh, with Mike Jeffries. Well, why won't she come on my station? Because it depends if she's up or not. I mean, once, like I say, you know, I mean, she's not a star. I'm the star. Oh, right. Okay. And well, modest as well. Is, what I mean is, she doesn't, <laughs> she's not one of those people. She's embarrassed. Oh, okay. You know what I mean? I mean, yeah. she gets embarrassed when, you know, you go on the rush. Come on the radio. Talk to David Gabay Gabay. Yeah. She said, no, I, I don't want to talk on the radio. But she did the other night, and people freaked out. Uh-huh. And on people that rang in and said, you've got to be kidding. <laughs> Something exists. <laughs> yeah. There you yeah. go. Something yeah. Now, I, wonder, I hope Angie's listening to this and she believes it. Well, I don't, yeah, well, who cares? Yeah. Like I said, uh, unintelligent, lonely, sour, pudgy, frustrated, middle-aged, low-grade, vitamin B12, B12. You've written all these down. That, and possibly lactose intolerance. Yeah, lactose, yes. Lactose intolerance. Yeah, not lactose. Lactose. Yeah, okay. I don't know what that is. <laughs> but I'm sure it's in milk somewhere. <laughs> give me a dairy product and I'll give you a lactose, save a goodbye. Thank you. <laughs> I, I want to say hello to uh, a lovely lady that rang in last night, and there was a lovely lady called Carol from Broken Hill. Oh, yes. Oh, how good's that? Yeah. Now, I, I, now how good's that? She stuck up for you, didn't she? 
Yeah, but yep. it's not why I'm, I'm complimenting her. Mm. What I'm complimenting her, she's probably, I don't know if she's married or how she lives out there, mm. but she's in Broken Hill, and mm. that's Carol, mm. and she sounds older than 27. Mm-hmm. And I think, hello, it, it, Carol, if you're listening, please ring in and say g'day, because that's fantastic. And you know, Carol, if I give you a laugh, my work here is done. Yep. That's all I'm here to do. Just give someone a laugh. I'm not going to give ten people a laugh. I'm going to annoy three, and I'm going to get seven having a happy time. Yeah. But you know, David, let's face it. All these people out there have got problems. Yeah. More problems than me. Yep. And more health issues than me. Yeah. So let's just get out there and have some, you know, crikey stuff. Yep. And some nutter stuff instead of all this. All this other bad news. So how did I look at that? When I heard that lady ring in Carol, she sounds so genuine. Yeah. <clears throat> how did you How did you feel about uh, Angie saying that if I like you, then I must approve of what Mitchell Pierce did on uh, Australia oh, Day? Ridiculous! Please, please. I mean, hello. How could what we say and and have fun hmm. and that Angie? He compared it to saying, oh, that Gaz is like that Mitchell Pearce. And- no, he, she didn't compare you to, to Mitchell Pearce. She compared me. She to compared Mi- you yeah. by having me. Yeah. I mean, how, what a joke. Yeah. That's unbelievable. Yeah. I mean, she must be, I mean, honestly. We shouldn't give her the publicity, you know. We shouldn't be giving her the airtime. No, we should give her airtime because I like to see people ring up on medication and that's what you'll probably do in about the next half hour. Mm. But I've got to say, that's absolutely incredible to compare that. Our conversation is just fun. We have some laughs. Yep. It's, it's not serious. I don't want to talk about ISIS. I don't want to talk about Syria. I don't want to talk about bombs in London. Yep. I just want to talk to David Gabay Gabay. I just want to talk to him about some fun stuff. Excuse me, has my name become hyphenated? Well, actually, I, I always get it right on the second one. No, you don't. <laughs> you never get it right. It's Gabay. It's Gabay. David Gabay. No, it's Gabay. David Gabay. Yay! Now, cut and print that, will you? <laughs> Did you see that TV show before I go? I watched the TV show tonight, me and Dumpling. God bless. And uh, I've got to say, Angie, 148 kilo of her. And why can't you love a hundred? She made out that I, what really made me a little bit sort of what? It, I love a hundred and forty-eight kilo woman. Why can't I love and fall in love and marry a woman that's a hundred and forty-eight kilo and love her? She made out I was making fun of a hundred and forty-eight kilo woman. What about if a hundred and forty-eight kilo woman mm. is happy to be a hundred and forty-eight kilo? Yeah, sure. And I'm happy to love her. Yep. What? <laughs> Whose Who business is, she? is it? Who, Who is she? And she, what she said, she was 65 kilos, and she said she put on five kilos. Yeah, she said she's overweight. Yeah, she's overweight. Yeah. She's, yeah her, how, her head is a block of cheese. <laughs> Did you see that TV show, I'm a Celebrity, Get Me Out of Here? No, I wouldn't waste my time. No, I know. Uh, well, we sat there. Uh, well, don't be sat down. I, I, I sat down and pitiful. David, pitiful? Was it? David. Yeah. David Gabay. Yep. Gabay. Gabay, yeah. Uh, Gabay. <laughs> Absolutely unbelievable, David. It was a shock. I looked up the word celebrity yeah. in the Macquarie Dictionary because I happen to have a small library here. Yeah. You might not think so. And the meaning of celebrity is actually, it says under the celebrity uh, Macquarie Dictionary, the meaning of celebrity means famous person. Uh-huh. Then you and I should be on it. We're well, famous David, people. Yeah, on the TV show, I'm a celebrity, get me out of here. I yeah. mean, I said, who are they? Right. They're just washed up. You, you know what the show should be called? What? This show should be called, I Used to Be Somebody. <laughs> let, let me back in there. <laughs> let me back in there. They're all drop kicks. They're nobody. <laughs> and it's up against some other silly show called My Kitchen Rules, where there's a French guy has the same name as the uh, as that whale. In the in the pool up at uh, Queensland. All right. It's called uh, the Manu. Manu. Oh, yeah. yeah. Manu, Manu. Manu, Manu. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's the name of the whale. The same name as a killer whale. Right. The Moon, the Manu. Yeah. Anyway, uh, I just find that shows a bit of a, well, shall I say wank? Yeah. You, you, know, you shall say that, yes, by all means. Hello, Carol from Broken Hill. <laughs> this is Gazza and David. Goodbye. Yeah. David. Gabay. Gabay. Yeah. And you know what? Once again, <laughs> we've had a ball, and I hope some of the people out there listening that have bad times or a bit sick or a bit crook, you know, maybe have gout. Have mm. you had gout? No, I haven't. It's a no. shocker. Yeah. 
shocker. Your big toe swells up. Yeah. It looks like a bowling ball. Yeah. And uh, the good thing is Red Nose Day, you just put out your toe out the window. <laughs> That's what I do. When I get red nose day and I've got gout, I just put my toe out. The do you have to paint a couple of nostrils on the toe? Pardon? Do you have to paint a couple of nostrils on the toe? No, no, just no. If you have a look at those red noses, and no nostrils, it's just a red bubble. Okay. So <laughs> I just put my foot out the window <laughs> when I'm coming down the uh, Hume Highway and I put my foot out there in the, the F100 Canary spray. Do you love Canary Yellow? Yeah, oh, yeah. Beautiful. How good is it on yeah. a Lamborghini? Yeah, yeah. Oh. Well, well, before I let you go, I've just got to ask you, what would the Indians say about I'm a celebrity, get me out of here? Well, I, I've got to look this up one second in the, uh, you know, the Apache? Yeah. The, the, there's the Apache, the Navajo, yeah. and the Shawnee. Would yeah. you like it in Shawnee, Navajo, uh, or, or American Pat, Indian Apache? What, uh, 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 Apache, Shawnee, I think or I want, Navajo? I think I want the Navajo. Navajo? Yeah. Good. <laughs> They were the Plains Indians. Yes. They were the ones that went over and, and so, they lived off the, they followed the, uh, the buffalo, the bison. Could we please have an editorial comment from the Indians on I'm a celebrity, get me out of here? <laughs> and then Daniel Byrne said, what the hell are you talking about, Phil Grum? <laughs> Daniel Byrne? Hey, that's a pretty vicious comment. What? What the Indian just said. That's pretty vicious. I know, but I yeah. Well, maybe I've got it backwards. Yeah. <laughs> I've been eating too much beaver. <laughs> you have a wonderful week, Gazza. As we say. Would you like your theme as, a, as an outro as well as an intro? Wunderbar. Okay. Talk to you next week. <laughs> Bye-bye. Ladies and gentlemen, you have been listening to... I'm a super radio network. I think he's a lot of fun. I uh, got a message from Tim yesterday morning who said, just, la just laughed the last 39 minutes. Very funny, Gaz, especially when she hung up. And I think that refers to the lady. Uh, and I'll... Oliver, Oliver, Ollie, Ollie said regarding Angie, please get rid of this obnoxious woman. She is not helping my insomnia. Angie, I'm sorry, but that's how people feel about you. In 2016, 